Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks, and I'm taking you guys to Atlantic City. We're going to be spending a night at the Borgata. My husband Kelly and I are driving in from Connecticut. We're currently going through Newark, New Jersey right now. You can see the planes overhead. That's the Newark Airport. It's about a three and a half, maybe four hour drive, maybe even five, depending on traffic. And I'm going to spare you that. We're already in Atlantic City. We are currently on the Atlantic City Expressway. This is the best feeling in the world. Those of you that are watching and go to Atlantic City, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? When you pull in and you see that sign, welcome to Atlantic City, you know you're going to have a fun weekend. In Connecticut, we have Foxwoods and Mohegan Sun, which we enjoy immensely too. But it's fun to go to Atlantic City. Plus, I have a comp night over at the Borgata. I received the comp night playing My Vegas, which is a, just a game on my phone. You don't even have to pay anything to play this game. And you get points. And I was able to get a comp room at the Borgata, which, you know, <laughs> makes me very happy. Okay, we're already here. We're in the parking garage. Wasn't that fast? Make sure if you park in the parking garage here or any casino that you write down or take a picture of where you parked. It will save you a lot of hassle later. After you park, you would take elevators to the casino floor, and this is what you would see first on your way to check-in. Borgata is owned by MGM. It is the only MGM property in Atlantic City. While we were driving and we were still in Connecticut, I got a notification on the MGM app that my room was ready. So we're gonna go up there right away and I'm gonna show you what the room is like. This is just the regular comp room. It's two queen beds, no bells and whistles. I didn't have to go to the check-in desk at all. I got the notification on my phone, which gave me the room number. You receive a QR code, like a scan, that you could access the elevators and it opens the door to your room. The rooms are equipped with refrigerators, which is really cool because you don't find that much in casinos. You could get room service, but quite honestly, there are so many places to dine in the Borgata. We're gonna be showing you a couple places that we did dine. See the buildings in the distance? That is the Atlantic City Boardwalk. If you prefer to have a traditional key, you could go to the front desk. Right by there, they have a kiosk that you could get a key that you could hold in your pocket and use rather than using your phone. Wow, that was a lot of information. <laughs> now it is time for lunch. I always make these videos when I'm, I'm filming. I try to make them shorter so it's not so long and drawn out, but then I try to voice over and then it's just like, oh my God, I have so much to say in so little time. <laughs> but now we're gonna look at some delicious, yummy food. We are currently in the food hall eatery. This is underneath the poker room. It is on the bottom floor. You take an escalator down. This would be equivalent to an upscale food court, and it is my husband Kelly's absolute favorite place to dine in all of Borgata. This is a quick and casual environment. There's a lot of grab and go items, including alcohol. There's a daiquiri bar, there's a wine bar. There's like a ton of different variety of choices, you know, from pasta to pizza to Mexican food, you know, all your heart's desires. You can find it all here. It is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm at the moment fasting and on keto and the, all, this video is making me so hungry. <laughs> Do you dine here? What is your favorite thing to order? I have not personally dined at all these locations, so I can't, you know, fairly say what's my favorite, but I do enjoy the Philly steak sandwiches. They are so good. Highly recommend those. But we did not end up eating here. I lied. Well, it was a fib. I honestly just forgot. <laughs> we are going to go eat somewhere else. I'm going to show you that in a little bit. But first, we're going to go to the gym. This gym is very large and very well equipped. You can find the gym on the same floor where you can find the pool and the salon and spa. Do you use the gym when you go to resorts and casinos? This was filmed on, a, I believe it was a Wednesday afternoon. It was about four o'clock. Now we're gonna go sneak a little fast look at the pool. Borgata has an indoor and outdoor pool, but it's January, so the only pool that is open is the indoor pool. I could be wrong, but I believe those are two different hot tubs on either side of the pool. Now it is time for dinner. I do specifically remember this. Kelly did want to eat at the food hall, but I was like, you know, I really want to try American Bar and Grill. 
We did not have reservations, but we were able to get a seat at the bar. Oh man, here we go with the carbs again. This pizza was delicious. It was a margarita pizza. Do you guys make reservations when you go out? I, I kind of just wing it, you know? I, like we'll be walking around, I'll be like that. That's where I want to go eat. You know, I kind of like to go by like the atmosphere that's going on there at the moment. Do they have music playing? Is it really crowded? I don't really like big crowds. Hold on, I gotta take a bite of pizza. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me and Kelly and having dinner with us. We really enjoyed our visit to the American Bar and Grill. That's all for today, folks. Good night. It is now past our bedtime. Yep, that's how we roll. <laughs> but I will be up bright and early, and here we are. It's the next morning, just like that. It's about 6 o'clock in the morning. This is when I love to go walk around. There's not too many others around. There's more people working there than there are tourists <laughs> or people gambling. It's just a really peaceful time to walk around. And as somebody that films, it's a lot easier for me. Like most casinos, Borgata is open 24 hours a day. I'm going to be showing you more of the casino and some of the games we played later in the video. But right now, we're going to be looking for somewhere to go to breakfast. Let me know in the comments below if you have any dining suggestions. Where do you like to have breakfast when you stay at the Borgata? There is a buffet option at the Borgata. However, it is not open during the week, at least when we were there. I think it was closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Their Borgata theming is very beautiful. It's very cool, but it's also a little glam. You know, there's a little bit of sparkle to it, a little magic. As I said earlier, it is an MGM hotel brand. I always find the staff to be very friendly and warm. Like, you know, they'll go out of their way to say hello to you. It's not, you know, for a beautiful hotel, it's not very stuffy or pretentious at all. Let's go take a look into this coffee cafe over here. It's called Bread and Butter. I hope you're enjoying this tour and this walk around. I believe this is my third or fourth video of the Borgata. So I hope it doesn't feel repetitive at all. I try to like eat at different places and show you different things and talk about different topics in every video. If you are enjoying this video and you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel and check out my playlist at the end of this video for more Atlantic City videos. Out the front door, you can see Harrah's in the distance. It's about a 20 minute walk away. Golden Nugget is pretty much in the same neighborhood too. They are all on the bay side of Atlantic City. I have a place in mind I want to try for breakfast and I'm so excited because Kelly says that he wants to try it too. We're gonna go check out the Metropolitan. In past visits here, this place is always packed. Once again, we had no reservations. I don't even know if you can make reservations here. But they were able to seat us. They wanted to seat us inside, but we weren't too crazy about the vibe once we got in there. It just seemed kind of quiet and just a little, like, kind of tense. <laughs> so we asked to sit outside, and it was much better. And they sat us next to roses. Roses in January. What a treat. I had the eggs benedict, and it was delicious. This outside area technically isn't outside, but it's outside the walkway between the casino and the Metropolitan. Oh hell yeah, now it's time to go play some slots. I'm so excited. Woo! Going to be showing you some of the machines they have there and some of the bonuses that we got. Preparing you ahead of time. Nothing's going to be amazingly exciting. We bet minimum bet, so we never really 
win a, a ton of money, but we never lose a ton of money either. Please share with me in the comments below what games you enjoy playing when you visit the Borgata.
but I have, I have a chance to get, get more. more spins, so yeah, I get more chances. And when you win that, then you get. And all those go down to the bottom, which is cool. Oh, gambling is so much fun. I really enjoy it for like an hour or two. I just love to film it and share it with other people so you guys can see how much fun it is too. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and Kelly. If you are still with us, you are an ultimate rock star. This is your host and your tour guide, Jennifer Sparks. I'm going to leave some playlists over here. On the left will be all my visits to Borgata. On the right will be all my visits to Atlantic City. Whatever you do, plan that trip, pack your bags and go. Be good to yourself. Be kind to others. Safe travels to you and good luck in the casinos.